Joe Biden is a rabid dog. He should be beaten to death with a stick. I agree. Women can win. But before I tell you that, let me tell you something else. Every environmental organization in this country, uh, including the Sunrise Organization, who who are supporting my candidacy, opposes it. So I happen to believe, and I hope we will talk about climate change in a moment. It just doesn't get turned around in 10 years. You're looking at the faces of the people who are going to be living with these consequences. The government is supposed to be for the people and by the people and... All you know what's interesting. You got this? We have a right to be here? This is the public! All right. Okay. okay. You got this, everybody? Don't touch my people. Us. I was just wondering if I could get inside. Nope. Why? Nope, not allowed. We don't have tickets, you can't get inside. Yep. Really? Yeah. Why? Uh, a media. Sold oh, sold out? You have one piece. Come on, come on, everybody. Yeah, everyone in? Everybody who is the public who wants to be in? Don't touch me. If you're not going to... Don't me. I'm going to fail. Please, please. Please, please. Please, please. Please, please. Please, please. Please, CNN reported yesterday that, and Senator Sanders, Senator Warren confirmed in a statement uh, that in 2018, you told her that you did not believe that a woman could win the election. Why did you say that? Well, as a matter of fact, I didn't say it. (laughs) What did you think when Senator Sanders told you a woman could not win the election? (laughs) I disagreed. Look at the men on this stage. Collectively, they have lost 10 elections. The only people on this stage who have won every single election that they've been in are the women, Amy so and true. me. So true. And the only person on this stage who has beaten an incumbent Republican any time in the past 30 years is me. Well, just to set the record straight, I defeated an incumbent Republican uh, running for Congress. When? 1990. That's how I won, beat a Republican (laughs) congressman. (laughs) Number two, of course, I I don't think there's any debate up here. Wasn't it 30 years ago? I beat an incumbent Republican congressman. And I said, I was the only one who's beaten an incumbent Republican in 30 years. Well, 30 years ago, (laughs) it's 1990, as a matter of fact. But I don't know that that's the major issue of the day. Vice President Biden, uh, you criticized President Trump's decision to kill the Iranian General Soleimani without first going to Congress. Are there any circumstances other than a direct attack on the United States where you would take military action without congressional approval? I ran the first time as a 29-year-old kid against the war in Vietnam on the grounds that only way to can take a nation to wars with the informed consent of the American people. The informed consent of the American people. My bill enumerates five instances where the president may use force. First, to repel without congressional authority at the outset. President, just to be clear, uh, the Obama-Biden administration did not ask Congress for permission multiple times when it took military action. So would the Biden doctrine be different? No, there was the authorization for the use of military force that was passed by the United States Congress, House and Senate, and signed by the president. That was the authority. It does not give authority to go into Iran. It gave authority to deal with these other issues. It's an act of war, it's an act and of so war. the United That's States right. does could what? take whatever action it deems appropriate. A disproportionate response is what is needed. If we find out that... But I would not. I would not meet with, uh, uh, absent preconditions, I would not meet with the, uh, quote, supreme leader who said, Joe Biden is a rabid dog. He should be beaten to death with a stick. I count that. Well, other than that, you like him. Other than that, I like him. And he, uh, he, <laughs> and he got a love letter from Trump right after that. 